Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to design a heart using Inkscape. But of course before I get into that I want to direct you guys over to my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always we have tons of GIMP and Inkscape tutorials on here as well as GIMP and Inkscape help articles so definitely check that out. You can also visit my new Inkscape tutorials page where I have tons of Inkscape video tutorials and help articles on here. Or you can support my channel and help me grow by becoming a patron on Patreon and get tons of GIMP and Inkscape extras in return. And I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So here is the heart that I'll be designing for today's tutorial. I've actually created two instances of this. So this is a really simple technique, so I'll dive right in here, and for starters, I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool, and I'm just going to draw a rectangle here, so you'll see right now I have straight edges on my rectangle, and I just came down here and clicked on here to make my fill color this red color. The next thing I'll do is I'll just click and drag the corner here, so you can see this corner has a little rounded thing there. It's like a circular handle, so I'm gonna click and drag that down as far as it'll go, and that'll give me rounded corners on this rectangle. Then what I'll do is I'll grab my selection tool and you'll see I have this selected here, the shape. I'm gonna hit Control D and that's going to duplicate the shape. Then I'll click on this duplicated shape and that's going to give me these transform handles here. And what I'll do is I'll hold the corner of this and I'll hold the control key at the same time. And you'll see down at the bottom of my screen, it's giving me the angle at which I'm rotating this. So right now uh, it was at negative 45 degrees and I'll come up here and you guys will see it down here for the second one. So I'll click on this and I'm going to click the rotate handle hold the control key and you'll see that now my rotate option says 45 degrees. So stop right there. And you can see now we have this kind of really awkward heart shape. So what I'll do is I'll just bring these two objects closer together. And this part is going to just depend on how you ultimately want this to look. So I like having this right here. If you want this to be more precise, you could shift click on both of these shapes. Come over here to my align option. We're going to align relative to, and we can just go with last selected. And then we'll come over here to the aligned top edges and that'll ensure that the top edges of these shapes are aligned. All right, so we have both of these objects selected. So what I'll do now is I'll come over here to path, object to path, and then path union. So that'll turn these two objects into a single object. And now I'm gonna come over here and grab my node tool. And you can see we have all these nodes here. So what I'll do is just delete the excess nodes. So all of these nodes right here that are outside of the heart area, obviously we just want what's going on right here for the bottom portion of the heart. So let me delete all that. And then I'm going to click on this node right here and up top you'll see we have some node options. So I'm gonna click on this one here which is going to make selected nodes corner. So that'll just turn this bottom node here into a corner node. And the last thing I need to do is click on these handles so you can see these handles from these nodes are going way out. I'm gonna bring them in until they snap here to where it says handle to cusp node. So it's just snapping it to this bottom node here. And now I'll repeat that for the last handle here on this node. So I'll just bring that in right there until it snaps to the corner. I will click off of this shape and there we have our heart shape. So now of course I can click on this and I can scale it up, I can scale it down, I can change the color of it but I'm just gonna keep this set to red. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Really simple tutorial today. If you liked it, you could subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. Don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified every time I have a new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.